Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim's Special Edition. My name's Camel and today we're going to acquire and inspect the unique circlet known as the Circlet of Water Breathing. An item that is super easy to miss and will also come in use for just about all players at some point. A timestamp for the overview of the Circlet of Water Breathing can be found down in the description along with links to my social media and to my other Skyrim Special Edition guides. Be sure to check them all out after this video. And if you are following this guide on the Skyrim Standard Edition, you will need the Dawnguard DLC installed to acquire this item. So first of all, we'll need to come to the Forgotten Vale, and to get here, you must be on a quest called Touching the Sky, which is part of the Dawnguard DLC main quest. Once here, you'll need to go to the western side of the Forgotten Vale and head up the Glacial Crevice. Once out, you'll be in an area known as the Falma Fissure. Here, we can find the Chantry of Oriel, or the Inner Sanctum as it's also known. To gain access, you'll need the Initiate's Ewer, but don't worry about that because the only way to get here is to be on the quest Touching the Sky, and part of that quest involves getting it, so that'll be no problem. Once inside, it's eerily beautiful, with lonely shafts of ice-cold light cutting through the frozen air. Many things in here can be spotted, and that's one of the reasons so many people miss this circlet, because there is just so much going on in here. You may notice that some of the frozen feral Thalma are holding items. Well, if we head all the way through to the back of the inner sanctum in one of the final rooms, we'll spot a frozen feral Thalma shaman holding a circlet. And you guessed it, this is the circlet of water breathing. It's almost as if he's just giving it away. Eh, must be a liquidation sale. And just like the last piece of garlic bread, be sure to grab that boy. But be warned, as soon as you do, the frozen enemies in this room will thaw out and swamp you, so be prepared for a fight. But once that's done, and now we have it, let's check it out. The circlet of water breathing. Its type is of course the circlet, its slot is the head, it's got an armor rating of zero. If you're confused by that, don't worry, so am I, I don't know why, but circlets have armor ratings and none of them have armor, so it's like, actually there's a few that have armor, like the diadem of the savant, which you can check out if you so desire. But it's got a weight of two, a value of 150, it cannot be upgraded, because it has no armor anyway, and its enchantment, you can swim underwater without drowning, you can breathe underwater. Surprise, surprise. So I thought about this for quite some time, how useful is is this item, really? Well, I must admit, Skyrim did have a massive lack of underwater exploration. I think there's actually zero dungeons that can only be accessed from underwater, let alone dungeons that consist mostly of underwater. Which when compared to the older games, well, it's almost like there's a missing feature. There's also no underwater combat, nor is there anything worth fighting in the water anyway. Again, it's like there's a missing feature. Also, most things that are underwater, like chests and such, are super easy to get to and don't really require any massive plungers to get to, so you don't really need to breathe underwater that desperately. Also, most things that are underwater, like chests and such, are super easy to get to. They're in shallow water, you only need to go down for like 5 seconds and then you back up. The only time you really need to breathe underwater is to dive down to some ships off of the northern shores of Skyrim or Solstheim. Apart from that, the ability to breathe underwater water or not breathe on the water really doesn't affect your gameplay at all. But sometimes it is nice to just have an explore without needing to worry about drowning. You know, swimming around looking for chests and ships and weird things underwater, harvesting fish, Nordic barnacles, clams, and exploring the occasional ship and looting the infrequent chest. Of course, if you are an Argonian, you won't need this item at all, as Argonians can breathe underwater as one of their passive racial traits. Now, the breathe underwater enchantment is not unique to this circlet, as you can find any randomly generated headpiece with the enchantment. However, this is very rare. The probability of finding an item with water breathing is extremely low, because it is a fixed effect that does not scale with your level, therefore the probability of finding one is further reduced as your character advances in level. Now this is due to the fact that items with more valuable enchantments are given increasingly dominant odds of spawning the higher level you become. Furthermore, there are no guaranteed locations for disenchantable items of water breathing, so they can only be found being sold by merchants or as random loot, which again is super rare and becomes even more super rare the higher level you get. So it turns out there aren't plenty of fish in the uh, ocean. And even if you do find one of these pieces, it will likely be heavier than the circlet of water breathing, as it only has a weight of two, making it one of the best items to hold the enchantment. Now the Ebony Warrior's Helmet and the Deathbrand Helmet also hold the enchantment 
than a water breathing, but again, this is far lighter and therefore more practical to carry around with you at all times. Strangely, despite being able to breathe underwater, when your character surfaces, they'll still take a deep breath of air. And finally, the circlet of water breathing actually exists in the game files of Vanilla Skyrim. However, it was left out of the random loot table and just never made it into the game. They then, as we know, added it into the Dongar DLC. So if you're thinking about taking a swim, go and grab it. I mean, what are you waiting for? And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Camel, and this has been my guide for the unique circlet known as the Circlet of Water Breathing. I do hope this video helped you out, and if it did, you'll be very interested in checking out my other Skyrim Special Edition guides that I've already done. Links to them can be found down in the description. Now down there in the old description, you can also find links to my social media. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and follow me on Instagram. And if you'd like to support the channel in a more personal way, you can become a heroic patron on Patreon. As I'm sure you know, all of my time and energy goes into making these videos that I create for you to enjoy. So your support is most appreciated and welcomed in any and all forms. So thank you very much for watching, thank you for supporting the channel, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there soon.